Hey everyone, I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews, of course, a channel dedicated to reviewing quality at different price points. Now, a while back, I made a video about Ridge Wallet, about my review, my opinion about it. Going in, I wasn't sure how I would like it, but it turns out I really like that wallet. That video was really well received. Then afterwards, I made a video about Ridge Wallet killers. As usual, those were kind of compilation videos that had a bunch of reviews in one. So today I wanna to talk about one of those wallets. And if you wanna go watch my thoughts on the other wallets, definitely check out the links up here. Now I'll have links down below to all of these wallets. If you're interested in any of these, definitely check out the links down below. That really supports this channel and allows us to do more and more content just like this. So I always appreciate it when you do that. Now Ridge Wallet was started on Kickstarter and it has exploded into just a monolith in the wallet space. It's become just a huge sensation in the minimalist wallet community. People everywhere are using this wallet and I think for good reason. It's a great wallet. It's a very simple looking wallet that is made with two slabs of aluminum or titanium. They have carbon fiber, even gold as well. It holds up to 12 cards, has an elastic band around it, and you can secure cash with either the cash clip or the cash strap or even both if you want that. Of course, there's a little ridge on the side of the wallet that allows you to push out cards or pull cards out as you wish. It's very small, very lightweight, and just slides in your pocket and disappears. It has a lot of great things going for it. Even though I really love Ridge, I do think there are wallets out there that I think do it a little bit better than them. But today I'll be reviewing the Aviator Wallet. Aviator Wallet reached out to me a while back, a couple of years ago, and so I've been sitting on this for longer than I should have. This is a very slim wallet with a couple of really interesting features here. Now, Aviator makes a really cool metal wallet design, and it's made in Germany. On the front, it says Ultimate Slim Wallet in truncated wording, and I think that's really clever, especially for advertising a small wallet. It's made of aluminum, probably aircraft grade, I'm assuming. It's RFID blocking, comes with a coin holder in the box, holds up to 20 cards, depending on the model. It has a lifetime warranty. It's made in Germany, has a pull strap for a quick card access, and is customizable with various upgrades for storage, cash clip, or internal frame, and also has an Apple AirTag clip option. Now, Aviator has two different wallets, but mine is the Slim Wallet, which I think is still better anyway, and has more features. Now, this is a wallet that gets it. I love this design. They innovated precisely where they needed to, and I think that the attention to design is exemplary. The front has a front face cutout that allows you to slide out the top card if you have a card that you use the most. The elastic strap is pretty standard, but I love the pull strap here that gives you instant access to all your cards all at once. And though I don't really carry coins that often, what I love about the coin slot is that you can put a spare key or even cash in there securely. Big plus. And it's a great size. It's very, very small. I love how space age and sleek the appearance is. It looks impressive and it definitely looks like something in aviation or space age or something. But one criticism that I have is that I'm not a big fan of some of the add-ons that they feature. I don't know what advantage some of these bring. Why do I want or need a coin slot made of different materials? Why do I need or want a different frame material? And what does the cash clip even do if it's the same size as the elastic band? As much as I love the design, it's fantastic, I don't understand the ecosystem around the wallet like I do other wallet designs. But I still think this is a great design and is probably one of my favorite designs in this list just because of how well everything was thought out. I love that you can take the top card out, I love the quick strap, I love the coin holder, and I love the size. Now let's compare this to Ridge. Compared to Ridge, this wallet is easily superior and is the clear winner to me. They're almost identical in size and the Aviator might even be a little smaller. To me, when I compare the two, Aviator provides so many more features and is just easier to use that it would be difficult for me to recommend Ridge by comparison. It's way easier to use on every level, and I think, for me personally, it just looks cooler. I love this wallet. I don't think their upgrades for the wallets are worth it, in my opinion, but the base wallet design, I think, is amazing. And to me, this is much better than Ridge. If you're looking for a metal wallet design that is super easy to use and has a little bit of everything, definitely check out Aviator Wallet. So that's all I have. What do you think? I'd love to know your thoughts down below. What do you think of this wallet? Let me know down in the comments down below. And of course, if you're interested in this, definitely check out the link down below. Of course, if you haven't already, please like, comment, and subscribe down below. I love you for it. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with Beast Made Reviews. Bye.